Hey guys, welcome back. It is Infinite Potatoes here with Star Wars Battlefront 2 Beta. Today I'm going to do kind of like a beginner's guide to get you started in Battlefront 2. Today I will run you through the basic but necessary steps to playing this game. Like, classes, weapons, star cards, reinforcements, crate openings, the overheat system, and more. Now let's get into it. Crates. This is the first thing we are going to cover. Crates give you anything from new abilities like star cards, to new guns, all the way to even new emotes. Now you may ask, how do you get crates? Well all you have to do is go to the little tab at the bottom left corner of the main menu and go. you can collect one, a daily reward or if you do certain challenges you can earn them that way. You can even buy them with credits. That's how you're going to mainly progress in Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'll open some crates up for you guys to see how they work. Then, we'll go to our collection tab and equip some of them. Boba Fett, at your And now, I will show you how to apply all the stuff you've earned from the bat the crates, I used to call them battle packs because they're like from Battlefield 1, into your hands. So you go into the collection and then you pick a class and then you go in and see what they have. So here I have the A280 CFE which I have recently earned and then I can look at it, equip it and then that you can even add modifications to it. I currently do not have any modifications for any of my blasters as I am saving up crafting parts. Crafting parts you can earn in the crates or I believe, I'm not sure if you're, if you can earn it through live matches but I know you can earn it through crates. So those can modify the abilities you earn in the crates. So here I'm adding all my different stuff so you can see it modifies the star cards that I have. Uh, here's the MVP select that I had so I have a new one now. You can switch everything out, they made it a lot more customizable than the first game. Here's the officer class, I recently got the Blurg gun for it, it's a pistol. I have not tried it out yet, but it looks really good, I believe it's a two shot burst weapon, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like the SC-14C, but a little different, here it is. There's also mods for that. The heavy class, I have this stuff already added, like the barrage, it, I changed out the shield for the barrage, which is pretty cool. And then, you can add the first order weapon with the different mods. So, I put gave my clone trooper a first order weapon. So, you can switch it all around and do whatever you want with it. Now, once we've cho chosen a lobby, now they give us the option to spawn in as different classes. The Assault, the Heavy, the Officer, and the Specialist class, along with all the special classes, such as the Wookiee, or the Jump Trooper, or even Heroes. Those are reinforcements and will be covered in another video. The Assault class. This is your run and gun all around fighter. He's got a moderate amount of health, his weapons are mostly made for close to medium range combat, and they really pack a punch. They are extremely versatile if you know how to use them, but they still cater to the newer players. The Heavy Class Armed with the heaviest of armor and the most powerful of weapons, the Heavy is built to hold down corridors and protect objectives. If you plan on taking an objective with power, this is the class you are going to need. Having tons of grenades and a heavy blaster that has high cooling power, it's going to help you do it. The Officer class, the most supportive of the bunch, equipped with turrets, ways to help teammates have extra health and regain health faster, this is the ultimate team playing class. 
armed with a pistol for close quarter engagements and a flash grenade to confuse enemy players. This is a class to watch out for. The Specialist class. Out of all the classes, this class is the weakest in health, but maintain its, its power with its long range sniper rifles. Being able to pick off enemies from a distance may really change the tide of battle, but it may cost you if you don't know how to use these rifles, as they are slightly harder to get used to compared to the other weapons. Now we move onto the overheat slash reload system. Here's how it works. You have three different ways to reload or cool down your gun. The first way is by pressing X if you haven't overheated. What this does is it takes about a half a second to reload your weapon instead of waiting for it to go down by itself, which will take a long time. The second way is that once you overheat, you'll see this bar and the line will go across from right to left. Once it is highlighted over the blue part of the bar it, and press X, it will instantly allow you to fire again. But if you wait a little and go over the gold part to the gold part of the bar, it will let you fire continually for 3 seconds straight without overheating your weapon. This is very beneficial when you know a lot of enemies are nearby. Having the 3 extra seconds to fire may end up getting you a great kill feed. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video or it helped you, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Battlefield 2 content. And please share with a friend because they might need help also. To see you guys in the next video or Battlefront 2 livestream.